Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me once again. We're looking now at question two of the 2017 Fermat paper. In the diagram, how many one by one squares are shaded in the eight by eight grid? So it looks like we have one column and one row that is unshaded. And I think it'd be easier, I mean, I, I think there's lots of ways to do this one, but I think it'd probably be easier to count the unshaded ones and subtract it from the total 8 by 8 or 64. But I'll show you a couple ways to do this question because uh, they just sort of popping into my head right now as I look at this. So I split it in half, split uh, each of those in half, and we have a 4 by 4 grid, and I split each of those in half. And that is how we make an 8 by 8 by 8 grid, and this works for any power of 2, really. So we can start shading everything in. And we want to count the shaded squares. And as I say, one way to do this is to count the total number of squares and then count the unshaded squares. Easier to count those by hand. And I don't recommend you actually try and count the shaded ones by hand. I'll talk about a way to calculate those in just a second. Okay, so one thing I could do is say it's the total, so the unshaded, or total minus the unshaded is equal to the number of shaded ones. Well, the total, it's 8 by 8, so this is going to be 64. Unshaded ones, well, you can count them by hand. All right, we could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Or you could say it's one row of eight, one column of eight, but you know, eight plus eight is 16. Didn't we just count 15? You're right, this, uh, this one is in both and he's counted twice. But however we do it, it's 64 minus 15. And so the unshaded ones are going to be uh, 64 minus 10 is 54, minus five is 49. So that's one way to do it. Here's another way that I thought of while I was uh, Starting up the question, I noticed that the shaded ones form nice rectangular blocks. This one's a 4 by 7, and this one down here is a 7 by 3. So we could just add up these two blocks, 3 by 7 plus 4 by 7, which is really just 7 by 7, 49. And that's another way to do the question. And I'm sure there's probably a couple other ways to do it. I mean, really, we could just ignore the um, uh, the left-hand column and treat it as a 7 by 8 grid that's missing a row. So that'd be 56 minus 7, and that's also 49. Lots of ways to do this question, but we don't want to get hung up on the different ways to do the question. We want to just get an answer, and we get an answer the fastest way we can, because we don't want to waste time on questions 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're interested in the more difficult questions, especially trying to get to and attempting to answer 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. These are the hardest multiple choice questions available in 2017 because the Fermat is harder than the Cayley or Pascal papers. Okay, so that's enough uh, with question two. Let's take a look at question three in the next video. I'll see you there.